The mutate mechanic, for those that weren't here or have forgotten or have blocked out of their mind, so you can cast this spell for its mutate cost and put it over or under target non-human, and they keep all of their abilities, plus they get the stat line of the top creature. So this is a pseudo-mutate combo deck. So we've got Migratory Great Horde here, which gets us basic lands when we mutate. We've got Auspicious Sterix, which is the core of our combo engine here, that says whenever a creature mutates, exile the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of times that creature is mutated. Put all the permanents into play that you find this way. And then King of the Cosmos here says, when this creature mutates, exile cards to the top of your library so you exile a non-land permanent, put that card onto the battlefield or into your hand. So with these two cards, you basically get to mutate up a bunch of crap and you can floop a good chunk of your deck into play. And that chunk of your deck, if it includes Porphyros, can give everything haste and attack right away, which is sweet. And then we get Goldspan Dragon now. Because Mutate is technically targeting your things with a spell. So when you mutate onto Goldspan Dragon, you get a treasure. I don't know if that's good, but it's cute. So we're going to try it. Um, and yeah, port this. these also are, are double red cards. So they technically can make Porphyrus a creature on occasion. So um, we're probably going to die in a blaze. We're going we're gonna to try this for an hour and see see if it can do stuff. But, you know, low low expectations is the key to not being disappointed in life chat. Is Ooze a free companion in this deck? Is it? I think you might be right. Are we all creatures in the main? Come on, Magic Arena. Oh, we can just board it, board it out when I... Uh... Yeah, it is actually. Good catch. My sideboard is literally all non-creatures. So we'll lose we'll lose these in our post board games. Nah, I have too many bad cards in my deck already. I couldn't fit Toski in two. Something's, something's got to give at some point. It's funny. It's been so long since I've played. Um, since I, I was watching a streamer last night and they were playing in... They were playing in the constructed events as opposed to playing on the ladder. And I'd forgotten how big of a, a Delta the deck quality is in those constructed events. All right, we finally, oh fuck, we don't have any green lands. So we finally found one of our 10 two drops. Now we don't have any green lands. Welcome to Magic the Gathering, enjoy your stay. Yeah, I mean, I have to imagine your win rate playing Terra, which is another reason to ignore win rates, right? Like, your win rate's probably much higher and things like that. Thanks for the 27 months, Storm Cooper. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Wow, rude. So wait, look at the way they massacred my boy Chip.
I was like, where, where did my sideboard go? Oh no. I could submit on the play. I mean, they saw the companion, so they know we're green. Or black, I suppose. We could technically be Grixis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve you it straight, Lord Odin. This deck's not good. This was, this was a deck I was paid to play as opposed to what I thought, I thought could be good. Yeah, we're here to, we're here to do a thing, not because we think the deck is good. And teach our opponent glass casket this you can't it's got a converted mana cost to four get out of here crunch It's been a while since I've used the view mutations button shit. Well, I wanted to use the red mana as opposed to the green mana, but the auto tapper had other ideas. Thankfully, we didn't draw a goose, so it's probably fine. Are you ready, chat? Doom Scar is ready. I would like to attempt to make another partial beast. Oh no, they saw it coming, chat. We're not getting Doom Scarred. Everything is lovely. Morning, Alistair. Omen of the sea, 
omen of the sea. Do 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 Okay, so this triggers these twice. And then this triggers these twice. Then we get to dragon. Rawr, dragon. Are we doing it? This is not the thing. This is just like an okay aggro draw. The thing involves auspicious Sterex. This is like, this is like plan B. Our opponent hasn't windmill slammed land doom scar, so I assume we have won the game. All right, do I want counter spells in the draw? I feel like I do. Deck is done, cut the stream. We're on the scoreboard, chat. To be fair, getting on the scoreboard in the first match exceeds expectations for a lot of decks like this one. Yeah, I mean, this hand's great, right? My body is ready for baby Godzilla to get put in the casket. Run! It's baby Godzilla! Four bands. Nope, just getting started, Pixie Bowl. Match one, game three. I gotta, well, I gotta put baby in a corner like that. What did, what did baby ever do to you? Value. David Royale and Tolles, thanks for the follows. Good morning. Yeah, if they didn't have interaction, we would have actually gotten a double dragon there. We would have gotten to mutate, trigger the Lotus Cobras, mutate again, trigger the Lotus Cobras. Uh, maybe not quite double dragon. It would have been close, right? We would have gotten a land, that would have been two, and then we would have done the, it would have been single dragon. Are you ready, chat? Ready for the doom scar? No, doom scar. You love to see it.
Help me. They at least had the foresight to template mutate so your mutate creature didn't get countered when you they bounced or killed the mutate target. At least they at least did that. And I feel like the fact that we didn't get doomed last turn again means that they just don't have it at the moment, which is nice. They could scry two here, which gives them three looks at it. Why didn't we make a 1-1? One, one? Weird. Strange. Strange. Parcel. Parcel Beast delivering packages every turn. It's been nice, though. Every, every turn this Dorko gets to sit and play, we get to draw a second card. Yeah, I, I agree, Shavir. I really, I really wish Mutate would have been pushed for Constructed more. I think in terms of uh, sequencing and in-game decisions, it's like probably one of the more intricate, interesting mechanics in the last year. Last two, two years. Honestly, last like four or five years. It's very unique. Now, nah, this is the second Alistair. We played Mud and Historic to start. For reference, you can always see what other decks we've played in the day on my, uh, what's it called, page. That a one. Nico. Nico can't kill anyone, right? So you, Nico can just like make a thing. Doke. Bonet didn't realize it couldn't kill anyone. Sadir, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Okay. So we start with this. And then. We do this. We just play the dragon then? We just play the dragon, right? Attack them. We can kill, kill their planeswalker. up. Ramp. Ramp to gold span dragon winning strategy against bad control deck turns out. Weird. We have now won 100% uh, more matches than I was expecting to win with this, so you know. Hopefully, hopefully I would like to auspect someone at some point. Like to, I would like to floop our deck into play. I, I have strong empirical evidence that this deck could potentially break the format. I think we're basically mulliganing hands that don't have any of our... Maybe I want another goose in this deck. I think that's probably the case. Honestly, I might want four geese. I feel like any hand that doesn't have one of our I'm gonna I'm gonna concede and uh, change. These armored these armored killers should be should be some geese. I don't I don't care about our rank. It actually doesn't matter. Benny, thanks for the follow.
Yeah, because without... Without these, we basically just don't have anything to do till much later, right? Do I want these extras in the board? Probably. I don't know what all of those words mean, son of some. Now, if we draw... Okay, we hit the third land tier, so, like, this hand's gonna get to do stuff. We get to go Cobra into land, Great Horn, and then we get set up for these the following turn, like... They could have a counter unless we pay one here. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine. I'm salty about it, but it is what it is. Kokobe, thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. What's with the title on my card? Um, imagine selling a premium cosmetic and then, like, having your cosmetic be broken visually. Like, what, what in the, who in the, who in the what thought this was okay? So, if I do this... It technically does. I think I'm just supposed to like Sterix this turn and then start mutating on to Sterix next turn, I think is the plan. I could also play King of the Cosmos here. I think I'd rather this die to binding than Sterix die to binding. It's close though. There's a good chance the old gods. And look, now the title is wrong. It says the wrong, the wrong name up top there. <laughs> Ooh. Neat Zero, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Draw my free roll companion here. Jawari disruption here.
And kind of uh, as expected in terms of mutate being playable versus not the opponent's archetype, just like playing removal spells and slowly picking us apart, making our individually low power level synergy driven deck feel bad. And it wasn't even just about their deck being good, right? It's just like, it's about our deck having a lot of individually weak cards in it. Is largely, largely what a game like that comes down to. Tem, Tem plating mutate so you still get the effect even if they kill it. If you paid the mutate, it should it should probably be templated so it says if the mutate cost was paid, you get this effect. Is probably what you would have wanted it to be templated as. That would have been that would have been the closest to making it making it reasonable. Terror of the Peaks could be a funny one. Yeah, I can see that. See that being okay. That's good with uh that's good with this one too. I could I could definitely see that being reasonable. Rather than the the cheeky porphyros that I have. We could we could try that after this. It gives us gives us a increase in individual card power level too. Like, I don't know that I would call Terror of the Peaks a good card, but it's definitely less bad than Porphyros, right? I draw a land. Nailed it. Yeah, the name box on these double name cards just completely foop art in like two or three different ways.
We do we do get to mutate this turn. Not you're not wrong. Ha! Actually the best hit in our deck. You have murdered baby Godzilla. Are you happy? Are you proud of yourself? Masulo, thanks for the follow. Oh, right, and they just get to... That's fine, if they're killing Sterix and they're not killing a Vortex, right? What are, what are you cutting for main deck counterspells? Again, like, a heavily synergistic deck like this, when you shove a bunch of counterspells and interaction in your deck, then your actual linear game plan doesn't work. That's why, like, decks like this, like, that's the typical Twitch chat go-to is like, okay, well, we need to be more interactive. It's like, well, in order to be interactive, you give up what's actually the actual powerful thing the deck is doing. So, like, yeah, you're right. Like, we could kind of protect our stuff, but then we have less stuff to protect, and then you come up with, like, serious wrong half problems in a lot of instances. Yes, resolves. They're in the tank here. Do they not realize what's about to happen? Maybe they don't realize the flavor text on Rolling Vortex. They're in the tank thinking what they can do to get out of here. This is a really funny tank. They're just like trying to figure out the puzzle, not realizing there are no winning plays. Enjoy. Triggers. I feel cheated, I want my negative 20, right? Honestly, we should probably just have four Roiling Vortex in our sideboard, because we can flip them into play with our things that get permanence. Yeah, you want to play a different kind of deck, Renegade Egg, and that's fine. It's fine if you want to play a mid-range deck or a control deck, but like, this is what we're playing is not an interactive deck.
difference. Like, like adding, adding removal and interaction to a deck like this is like the Twitch chat equivalent of always wanting to add draw, hard draw to every aggro deck, right? Something like Snakeskin Veil out of the sideboard could maybe be okay. We could try that. Something cheap, cheap and efficient like that is a big deal. It's a card, a card you can use proactively too in a pinch. It has a lot of value. Killed him. Yeah, but there's a big difference between being interactive against decks that are faster than you and like trying to put in a bunch of reactive cards to your deck that's trying to be proactive. Like you understand that, right? Maybe I'm supposed to wait a turn on this because of Jawari disruption. Just a stroke, sure. Could have been right to wait because of something like that too with dispute. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I mean, they technically get to cast one spell here. Play my flampler. Take take two at your upkeep. <laughs> you got me. So they have to kill both my vortexes here or they're dead, right? Dr. Crocodio, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. They tapped our vortex as how we recover. Asking the real questions. The vortices did all the damage that came. Yeah, we never attacked them. They did the full 20. Yeah, I think Terror for these two instead of the other one sounds good. We're basically a ramp deck and ramping into this is fine.
Hey, Dino, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. That's fine. Not amusing, but fine. Why not snow basics and the snow lightning bolts? My deck has 12 pathways and 4 triumphs in it. You down here at 94% playing Rogue's opponent? Who hurt you? What was their name? I had a 6-6, six, six, Wallaby. Like, if they had born clicks, I had a 6-6. Six, six. It was fine. It's a shame. I'm one mana shy of being able to mutate this this turn. this I think I'd rather cycle this I technically should check to make sure we had basics here. Did I just... I was looking through my graveyard when... when they said the Fabled Passage resolved. And it pulled the inner... Alright, I we probably can't win this matchup anyways. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and concede it and move on to the next one. We'll try we'll try one more before we we change that. In fact, let's let's set up let's set up some deck voting for for the next deck. Yeah, what a bad interface. I was looking at the graveyard when my opponent told me my fabled passage resolved and instead of having some clear indication, the wording probably changed at the top of the screen. But I clicked done to back out of my graveyard. And instead we got we got that. Alright, I'm gonna do. Sure, I believe that the words change, but not having some type of clear indication that the screen, like some kind of animation or effect indicating that what I'm looking at is now different because all the colors and all the buttons remain the same through all of it. Alright, I'm gonna pick two standard decks and two 
pick two standard decks and two historic decks so people can pick what format we play next. Hey, you got 10 minutes. Standard Teamer Draw 2, Standard Gyruda Oracle, Historic Bant Angels, Historic, Historic Black Devotion. All right, let's do it. Do we have deck lists? No, use your imagination. I gave you, I gave you deck names. Would ruin, would ruin the surprise. My imagination is telling me they're all Grixis. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, they didn't kill my symbiote. That's so exciting. That's so exciting, chat. They didn't murder him. They didn't kill my baby. My baby gets to live. This is kind of bad because they get to just and this is why it's just so like being behind this setup it just feels so bad right because like I committed this to the board but it was probably wrong to commit it to the board because I know they have Yorian in their hands so they just get to go like Yorian blink the thing kill my thing again now I guess it drew a card It is, it is a very close vote between Teamer Draw 2 and Bant Angels. And it's, it's incredibly close. All right, am I doing Baby Godzilla this turn then into Parcel Beast? We'll cycle the Triome this turn. How do you vote? There's a thing over Twitch chat that will let you that will let you vote. It should be available on mobile too. Yeah, I don't know the deck queue any the the polls letting people vote with Shilling Storm Cooper is basically what I'm replacing the deck queue with. There's, there's technically a small number of decks in the deck queue, but they're all going to get got to fairly quickly. Things aren't, things aren't going to be waiting weeks at a time anymore, like they were when everything was super cheap. They're using bits on a vote count towards bit badges. It should, yeah. Yeah, 
Look at that. Prime the laser. Oh no. Spooky, scary, death touch sky noodle chat. They took my Dargan and they didn't even pay three life. It's weird. Make no mistake, I'm not nice. They took they took our king of the cosmos, chat. We're we're supposed to be the king of the cosmos. Very dead. Do you receive the bitch we spent votes? I do. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't encourage you to send bits if Twitch was taking the bits. I am putting putting the ability to vote extra on polls with bits is optional. Also, remember, don't go crazy with bit voting on on the votes, because remember, if you're gonna cheer a bunch, 5k bits gets you your deck guaranteed played in the queue, so definitely the more more ways to don't, you know, if you guys spend more than like two or three hundred, two or three hundred bits, maybe just save up and get your deck guaranteed. Uh, so I definitely want the vortexes of the disputes. This is probably Terror of the Peak Out. Because we're just like realistically never getting that far set up. Oh, standard draw two is catching up. 388 to 346. There's less votes than we have people in chat. That's surprising. Yeah, I'm interested. Usually people spend their shillings in advance, but oh, oh, standard draw two has overtaken Band Angels just barely. Yeah, look, it looks like we might have two people bidding against each other here, trying to get it under the wire, huh? Six. Bant Angels. Bant Angels just barely up ahead now. We now have more votes than we have people in chat, which is what I expect. And remember, chat, if the deck you spent shillings or bits on or your vote doesn't win, you need to be a good loser. What does being a good loser means? It means no coups.
Hey, Taurus. Thank you for the 25 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Keeping me around. Oh, it's coming in close. It's coming in close. Looks like Bant Angels has pulled out a strong lead here. But what if I really want to queue? It's tough, I know. T up to 1,200 votes on Bant Angels and almost 1,000 on Teamer Draw. Beansy with the 1,300 bits. Thank you for that. And Sky Zero runs the world with the 1,100 channel. 11,000. 1,100,000 ,1 channel points. We'll be playing some historic Bant Angels up next. Thank you for the support, folks. And I lost. <laughs> no. I believe you are looking for 110,000, perhaps. Look at this, look at this flying Sterich chat. What a majestic animal. It's basically a unicorn. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm making a food before it dies. I mean, we've got two vortexes. We've been in ultimatum kills the range for a while. How's we take gone so far? About as expected. Oh, punished. I wanted to attack first in case they had removal. Rough. They have a removal spell here. We could lose. We're gonna lose this race now, right? They hit us for four. We go to seven. We go to five. They go to two. Oh, this thing is odd too. Brutal. Uh, does the food matter? I go to five, they put me to one. It does, the food saves us, yeah. Sick. Oh wait, this is bad because now they could binding the old gods my food. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Hey Jeff, can you play Teamer Draw 2? I lost the vote. I definitely can put that in the deck queue, Captain. If you'd like, if you, uh, let me know if you have a preference on what day we play it. Otherwise, I'll just get it up as soon as possible. It'll be later this week. Fish freaking money. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I 
I'm not into bondage opponent. It's not my king. Yes, victory. Roiling, roiling, roiling. Do 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 do. The classic foods for lethal. Fuck. Thank you for the two years of support. I appreciate that. Prefer before Saturday. It will definitely be before Saturday. And thank you for the tip. Yeah, seeing sounds great. Run! It's baby Godzilla! Do you have disruption number two, the electric boogaloo? I kind of want to build a Luris bird deck with four vortex made. <laughs> yeah, the blue and the Bant Angels deck is for Linvala as well as the three mana clone land. Because getting to play lands that you can collected company into is busted. And then with the dispute drawn, we get to go ahead and pass here. Do you have a binding? The back side of the card is the land, J Winzy. We pin the land here. Excited to Mystic Dispute this time, Walk. <sighs> huh? I think we just King of the Cosmos here, right? Backup king into our hands here. You don't want to put the second one into play because they have the same name. Opponent can ultimatum, but it'll put him to two here. Imagine being ranked 644 and losing to our team or bullshit. <laughs>
This heartless act? If this isn't a heartless act, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Even if that is heartless act, we're still kind of ahead, right? <laughs> you may pretty fly. All right, our deck won a game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play I wanna play until we lose. I'm gonna play until we lose, and then we'll play Bantage. We'll our deck our deck rewarded us by not being a dumpster fire, so we're gonna we're gonna continue playing with it. Now it's never gonna lose again. It's been 14 hours. Jeff is now rank six with Team Mutate. We don't know, we don't know where it all went so wrong. Griffin Bruce, thanks for the 54 months. And this hand's so good with the blue source. This hand's great. Sweet, not rose. God bless. I'd much rather race, race a linear deck with this, I think. I think I want a BBG here. As opposed to doing this onto the goose right away. No blocks, my dojo contains spear. Mig the migratory great horn chat migrating over to their face here. All right, looking to draw a king of the cosmos here or hysterics. We take a bunch of damages here. We take what, like four plus three is seven. Probably on the start chump blocking plan next turn. Fine, I guess I'll just draw gold span dragons and attack. It's not the sweet mutate cards I wanted for Christmas, but it's the hand we've been dealt. I wanted to draw sweet mutate cards, I swear, chat. Instead, our deck's just giving us all these good cards. Stupid good cards getting in the way of me flooping my board into play. Skin. It doesn't even say bait. Wait. Okay. Wait. So the the mouse over says baby Godzilla, but the card on my board says Poliwog symbiote twice. Right? Am I? I'm not. I'm not imagining that. Right? Y'all see that too? Okay. Just checking. Fire up the dragon, Clarice. We're going in. Probably board the removal in on the draw. Especially, especially on the draw.
Got a beast. It's fine, chat. Our opponent has fallen into my carefully cultivated plan of getting to be on the play for game three. Carefully, carefully sculpted master plan. Kind of punished for offering the frog, not really. Blocking, blocking with the frog is the play to win line there. We don't, we don't win that game. We don't win that game where we don't draw a two or a three there. Sometimes your hands need to draw spells. It's okay. We were, we were on the draw, so we're more likely to draw a spell in that last hand that does something. Just how it goes. My, my two mana, two four, my four mana, two four here, champ. We're going places, we're doing things. Parcel Beast and I, we go, we go way back. I think I'm binning King of the Cosmos here. It's a tough call though. Pretty sure I want to keep this one. I feel like I'm going to disappoint a lot of people with Bloodborne. There's so much pressure for me to like it. Bin the card with the broken title, yep.
Yeah, that's the downside. So like, if I would have taken Co King of the... So like, this card could snowball harder, but King of the Cosmos guarantees gives you non-lands. Yeah, I, I enjoyed playing Super Meat Boy. That game was fun. It just made Super Meat Boy is so twitchy it made my hands hurt after after an hour and a half or two hours. Well, that was probably the best draw on my deck. Hold on. Let's cancel. Make sure auto order abilities are off. So I wanna I wanna search up the land before I uh before I get the other triggers. Put basically in sure. Yeah, we get we get two shots to draw a mutate card next turn. If I if I draw a mutate card next turn, we get to mutate onto the Sterix and get six triggers. twice aren't we damn it this was this was the chosen game chat it was the one we were supposed to win are we not winning now no we are not storm cooper we're very close to being dead next turn. Very, very good chance we died to Zenith Flare next turn. I mean, are we, are we flooded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 11 lands and 24 cards. Isn't really flooded. One of the things magic players do really poorly when it comes to understanding statistics is understanding the idea that, understanding the idea that how many lands you have needs to be, when you think about flood, how many lands you have should be thought about proportionally to, um, we thought about proportionally the number of cards you've drawn. Uh. Under is better, right? Can you explain why? Why is under better? Hit more kings. I don't have another turn, chat. Also, I want to mutate more kings. I want to draw kings to my hand. Alright, that's it. That's the that's the high note we're ending on. I know I said we were gonna play till we lost, but I don't I don't think we're getting I don't think we're getting better than that. That's 
That that was the that's the end goal, chat. That's the what we're looking to do. And then yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We beat Sultai, we beat the cycling deck, take your winnings and run. That was that was peak mutate. Wolf, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. No, they were dead on board, Tosby. So because I put King over the top, I had 18 power worth of flying creatures there because we put three haste dragons into play. To give you to give you a wrap up, um, as we showed, this deck is definitely capable of winning games. Or I should say, Roiling Vortex is capable of beating Saltai entirely independently on its own. <laughs> we got we got to pop off with Butate fully at least once there. And a lot, the truth is, in a lot of the games, there's enough interaction out of a lot of the cards, out of a lot of the decks in this format, that you're gonna get picked apart. Honestly, this is probably a pretty fun best of one deck where people can't sideboard against you, I would imagine. Like... Just getting to like linear people on occasion sounds fun. When in game, I was boarding this out a lot of the time and just depending on hasty dragons if we went off like in that last game. But in game ones, when you're flooping a bunch of things into play with Sterix, Terror of the Peaks can trigger to blast your opponent, your opponent out, your opponent out directly. So um, I think I'm happy with the 75 we ended up on here. I don't think I really have any changes or or suggestions, but this was, this was fine. I think I can solidly stamp uh, exceeded, exceeded expectations on this, so happy with it. Thanks for the biddies, Toddsby, and thanks for the 11 months. Never, never not DM. I appreciate that.